Hi, so I was looking for a Blu-ray player that was on the cheap end, but also high quality and had a uh, basically a very uh, good brand name. So I settled on this Philips and also on this uh, Sony. So this particular Philips one is the model BDP-1502 and this Sony is BDP-S1700. And this particular Philips was $50, the Sony was $58. And what I was looking for was something that was very basic. It'll play the Blu-rays, it'll play the DVDs. And I will demo this uh, side by side um, on the television, my 4K TV. So what I was more concerned about was, uh, you know, when I played DVDs that uh, it actually looked very crisp and clear. And I could say both of these had equivalent picture quality. And you will see that in my demo. And both of these had equivalent sound quality. So just to show you the power button here, so I'm just going to push the power button. And when I push the power button, my TV actually turns on. Uh, so that's just the functionality of my TV. Once it detects a signal, it'll turn on. Now the eject, just to show you the smoothness of this. So that's the Sony. And right here is the Philips. So you turn it on, you can see there's a red LED right there. This is a play and pause button, which the Sony does not have. So for the Sony, it'll either auto, it'll automatically play the DVD once you put it in, but um, you know it doesn't have the play and pause button. And you can see that is the smoothness of the Philips right there. And you, you could see that the Sony, if you have a TV along with it, it does have, you know, the uh, buttons also for the TV. Whereas the Philips is more bare bones and more basic for just the Blu-ray player. I was going to go through, you know, the Blu-ray, but the Blu-rays are more or less the same quality. Uh, they're very high quality. You can't distinguish between them, especially if you have a 4K television uh, that really automatically upscales for any of the modern TVs, you know, basically from uh, 2018 or even 2017 is when I got this Samsung TV onward. Um, you don't re really have to worry about the upscaling. So I didn't even bother with buying upscaling uh, Blu-ray players or DVD players for that reason. Now, uh, let me just go ahead and show you that side by side. So I'm going to demo the video quality of the Philips first. And you can see I have a compressed uh, DVD burn here, which is the Spider-Man. And I'm going to skip scenes so that uh, this video doesn't get caught for um, copyright. So I'm just going to put this in. And once again, that both of these are so similar that you can't really tell the difference between the two as far as the video quality or the as far as the video quality or even the um, sound quality audio quality you can see right there Keep in mind this is the Philips. So I'm skipping scenes here, so once again, I don't get caught in the copyright. All right.
So, so right there, that's the Phillips. And now I'm going to put that same DVD right into the Sony and do the exact same thing. So this is the Sony's turn, and I'm going to put in the compressed DVD, and I am actually very happy with the image quality of both of these. They're basically indistinguishable. So this is the Sony opening scene. I'm just scrolling through the same scenes as before. And that is a sampling of both the Sony and the Philips.